Hello, welcome back to Equilibrium. Today we're going to be talking about six different types of meditation and the benefits of meditating regularly. So the first one is mindfulness. Um, mindfulness is quite a popular form of meditation. It originated from Buddhist teachings and it's all about bringing awareness to your consciousness. It's about allowing your thoughts to pass through your mind without fixating on them or without judging them in any way. So it's basically just about bringing awareness to your mind and focusing on your breathing without fixating on judging your thoughts or contemplating on them. Just letting your thoughts pass through your mind, pass through and just focusing on your breath. Second one is transcendental or commonly referred to TM. It's one of the most scientifically studied forms of meditation. And what it is, is it's taught one-on-one -on -one by a certified instructor. It uses customized mantras specific to the person. And the idea is that you sit comfortably with your eyes closed and you re repeat these mantras in your head up to 108 times. This style of meditation is practiced twice a day for 20 minutes each time. And it's, not, it's neither about um, concentration or about visualization, it's about repeating those mantras to yourself in your head internally, or you can repeat them out loud. Thirdly is spiritual meditation. This style of meditation originated from Eastern religions such as Hinduism. So it's quite similar to prayer in the sense that it's about seeking that connection with God or with the universe or with something that's bigger than you. Oftentimes, essential oils are used in this style of meditation, but it can take place either in your home or at a place of worship. Next is focused meditation. So this style of meditation is all about bringing awareness, being focused to either an object, a sound or a sensation. So this is either done with using the focusing on the five senses or it can be done externally by using beads or candles. So you basically, you bring your focus to a specific object or a specific sound or a specific a smell. Or it can, so it can be like something in your environment or it can be in your mind. You can focus on say like a forest scene or think about the ocean. So you're focusing on that one specific thing and you use that object or that scene as an anchor. So when your mind wanders, you can bring your attention back to that, whatever it was that you were focusing on. So whether it was the candle or the beads or like a or ocean scene in your mind. Whenever your mind wanders, you bring your attention back to whatever you decided to focus on. Another style of meditation is movement med meditation. This is generally tends to be gentle forms of m movement. So it could be going for a walk. Oftentimes people associate this with yoga. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be yoga. It could be walking or doing any kind of gentle movement. It's about bringing attention and bringing awareness to what you're doing and what, what actions that you're taking rather than letting your mind wander. It's about focusing on how your body is moving. Another style of meditation is mantra meditation. This style of meditation can be done for any length of time. It can be done in a chair, it can be done on the floor. You basically want to sit in a relaxed position and align with the natural curve of your spine, but sitting straight so you can feel the vibration of the mantra. Typically the mantra is repeated up to 108 times. This type, type of meditation can be done either solo or in a group setting, and you basically just repeat the mantras and feel the vibration in your lower belly. So some of the benefits that come with meditation are that it reduces your stress and lowers your blood pressure. This is because meditation triggers your body's natural relaxation response and restores you to a calm state of mind. During the day, we, we have a lot of stimuli, a lot of things um, triggering our fight or flight response, our stress response. And so meditation allows your body to return to that calm state and to quiet your thoughts and relax you after like a stressful day. Meditation has also been found to increase happiness levels and enhance our self-awareness. Studies have shown that people who regularly meditate bruise grey matter in their pre-nucleus, which is the area of the brain which is linked to self-awareness and your consciousness. Additionally, meditating regularly can help combat anxiety and depression. A study at Harvard University found that regular meditation practice changes how our brain deals with 
stresses and anxiety. So there are certain areas of the brain which are more hyperactive in people who have anxiety and depression. So these areas are the medial prefrontal cortex, which is the area of the brain which processes information. So when this is hyperactive, this tends to be that people people tend to ruminate more about information, the information in their mind. Also the amygdala, which is the fight or flight center of the brain, and the hippocampus, which is the memory center of the brain. So when you meditate, and the more you meditate, it's easier for your brain to ignore these centers, uh, areas of the brain, and it then therefore means they're less likely to become hy hyperactive throughout the day, and therefore you won't go into overdrive. So then comes the question of how often should we meditate? And there isn't really a one straight answer to this. I mean, with meditation, the more the more you can practice it and the more regularly you can practice it, the better it will be for you and the more benefits you'll get from it. But it isn't necessary about sitting every day for an hour if you can't do that. It's about just doing it as often as you can for as long as you can. And then as you practice it, you'll be able to do it for longer and longer and longer each time. So I hope you find this information helpful. Please do subscribe for more videos like this in the future.